Hey guys, what's up? So we have covered most of the interface now. We've got all these bottom buttons, all the perspective viewports and the top and stuff. So what we're going to cover now is first of all, I'm just going to point out this little stuff down at the bottom here. And first of all, we have the console and this is pretty much the same exact thing that's up in on the log here in the content browser. It's just, you know, in the a little easier to access if you just want to do a quick command such as, you know, meow or cats or spoon is a dumb you know just stuff like that and those command those aren't commands though obviously but so this little button right here is for source control I don't need to worry about that at all and these two are actually really useful they added a couple betas back and they actually tell you if you need to rebuild your lighting or paths without having that annoying little message that pops up if you have uh, what is it called here. Oh yeah, the show stats thing. That's where it is. See where it says that it pops up in game. So instead of having to worry about that, all you have to do is look down here. And if there's a little exclamation mark on either, you just have to rebuild those, which you can do by clicking on either of those. We'll, we'll I'll talk about that later. This this package thing isn't a huge deal. I wouldn't worry about that really. So let's get on to modes here. There's only about three modes you're really going to be ever using. The predominant one though is going to be camera mode, probably 80% of the time, maybe 90. And all that is is you get to fly around and select and move stuff, you know, all the basics that you do all the time. So that's probably the predominant one. The next one is geometry mode, and I'll go more in depth into this. And what it is is just using this builder brush out here. I'll fly out to it quick. It's using this builder brush right here to create geometry. And as you can see, I made a little tiny little uh, box here, a hollow box, actually. I'll show you that in a second. And so that's all geometry is because you can manipulate like the vertices and stuff and faces, you know, and do all that great stuff. So we're, we'll worry about that later. That's just so you know where the button is. Terrain mode is for editing terrain, and we'll get into that later. I just wanted you to know where it was, and it all, has all that great stuff, which I'll get into. Texture alignment mode is, I think that's what this thing's called. And what this is, is it lets you manipulate textures on BSP surfaces. So if you want to say, you know, slide this texture, I don't know why it's sliding right now. What the, where'd the widget go? Oh, I went back to, so weird. Stop going. So if you want to scale it up or move it, I don't know why it's letting me move it there for some reason. I probably have something set wrong. But if you want to scale it up, scale it down, or rotate it, or move it, it usually should let you move it, but for some reason it's not. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was weird. So anyway, yeah, that's the that's the texture alignment mode. The mesh paint mode and the actual mesh placement mode aren't really a big deal at all. Uh, I've never really used them, and honestly, I don't really know what the mesh paint mode is because I've never really watched anything on it. So no, I wouldn't worry about these ones too much. So on to the brushes now. And what this is, it's just a, bun a couple presets for this builder brush, and I, I really don't ever use them because one... Half the time I just use the geometry mode to make my own stuff, and it's a lot easier. But if you are looking for a preset, and you just click cube, cone, spiral staircase, you know, cylinder and stuff, or whatever it's called. I don't know what happened there. Whoops. And if you hit right click, you can also adjust the, the radius, like the different kinds of uh, parameters. So you can make it hollow if you want, and it'll actually make like a hollow thing if you want to make more sides and make it more detailed, you know, put 15, and it just makes it more round and stuff if you want to use it. But honestly, BSP is not used much anymore. I only use it for like the floor, and then I use static meshes for everything else, because static meshes are really great in that they, once they have one of them placed in the level, the next one that they have to render out is like a fraction of the render power. So if you, this one's like the most rendered one, the first one you put in, then every other one is duplicated at a fraction of the render power. So it's really just best to use static meshes. And I'll go into that more in depth later when we're actually building a map. So let's go on. Yeah, you know, all the brush things, if you want to mess around those, that's fine. And with CSG, this is the BSB adding, subtract, intersect, deintersect. What this does is it just tells you when to build stuff. So if you want to build, let's say... 
uh, we'll just do that use this cylinder I made and we'll just hit build and it actually builds the geometry right there and makes something physical that you can stand on and run around on and if I wanted to I could oh yeah I didn't rebuild the lighting that's why it's pitch black and so yeah that's it and if you want to subtract it'll just take that same builder brush and make a subtractive brush and take it all away so technically what you could do is move the brush just slightly see and then hit subtract and it's going to subtract the parts that the subtractive brush was inside so there you go it's you can make all sorts of funky shapes and all that i, I wouldn't suggest using it too much because it's not it's not necessary when you have static meshes but it's something that it's it's useful so I would definitely wait until I get into that more and now we have volumes which is again using the builder brush to create volumes and that is different things like if you were in space for example and you just there's no gravity when you're playing and stuff that's what you'd use a builder I don't know, like like a volume for you make a, a low gravity volume and you can make portal volumes that'll shoot you somewhere else and just a whole bunch of things you can do that will just make it's in it's mostly in game stuff the only thing you may use is post processing but even then I usually do all that in post like production so it's just a game thing I wouldn't worry about these too much all these are selection options they're not a huge deal I wouldn't worry about them they actually just added this recently and what you can do with this go to actor thing is just if you have something selected and you want to pop across the map just hit it and it'll you know shoot you there and if you want to go to the builder brush which is awesome that they added that you just hit that and it'll pop right to it so uh, let's see there I hit W just in case you guys were wondering so that's pretty much it for the basic UI layout. I mean, if you want to go more in depth, I recommend you checking out those tutorials that I had pointed out. And it'll go really in depth and point out the stuff that I don't either know about or I didn't care to explain because they're just not important to Machinima. So remember, this is just all stuff you'll need for Machinima. And I'm going to wrap up the video now. And when we come back, we will start from scratch and build our own map for our set. I'll actually drop a storyboard and everything to show you guys that we'll be using for a little short and our map and stuff. So it should be pretty cool. See you in the next video, guys.